to the admin page, and we haven't implemented yet anything. So let's let's add some um, uh, 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 some use cases that only an admin could do. Uh, for instance, uh, they should be able to, uh, at a minimum, they should be able to do some user management, right? Maybe list all the users uh, that are currently uh, have accounts, right? Uh, they should be, maybe be able to remove a, remove a user or create a new user or change their status, change their roles. Uh, so let's let's add that, right? And only an admin should be able to, to do that. Right? So let's let's work on, on creating some of those uh, use cases. Uh, so let's see in the admin view. Uh, right now we just have this H1 and there's nothing really in there. Let's just uh, paint it a little bit prettier. Uh, let's put a container fluid. Okay, um, and uh, uh, and in there, what we'd like to be able to do is is perhaps. Uh, give give a um, um, a uh, a menu of things that the user could do could, that this admin can do. Perhaps uh, maybe do an UL uh, and then a list of things that they can they can they can manage. So class maybe this could be a list group uh, and this could be line item class list group item uh, and uh, and in here we could say maybe they can do um, uh, users. Uh, they can hand, they can manage users. They can manage maybe websites. Okay, maybe they can take a look at uh, any reviews. I don't have any reviews, but maybe you might. Okay, or or posts that that, that the user might have created, uh, and uh, and they could perhaps, um, uh, you know, if there's there's an offensive content, they might be able to pull a post or pull something that somebody has complained about. Right, so manage manage various. Uh, various entity objects, right, across all users, across all relationships, right. Uh, so, so let's see. So this is what we have so far, right? We have a, we have some, you know, maybe a menu of things that they could do, uh, and then we can have maybe dedicated, um, dedicated um, uh, pages, right, that deal with uh, each one of these, right. So perhaps uh, this might be a link, a href that goes into maybe. Uh, maybe goes into admin uh, users, um, or maybe something like this: admin users, something like that. And that goes into a completely different template, right? Uh, we can, uh, and we could do something similar for for all of these, right? Uh, so right now, if I if I hover. That's a hyperlink, and they would, that would take you to admin users. So this is I am at admin, and this would be admin users. Uh, that would take me to a completely different template, which also would have to be protected, right? Would have to be protected by this, the same is is admin, right? But we're not going to do that. We could, we, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let, let you do that. Uh, let's let's create an entry uh, here. Um, so maybe like this. Uh, this could be maybe. Uh, uh, slash admin slash admin goes to admin dash users or something like that. Okay, which is also protected by check admin. You can't navigate there. Um, oh, sorry, no admin 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 users. Is that what I called it? Admin users. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's uh, let's uh, uh, create that template. Uh, so that would be under admin templates. Uh, I'll copy that to just get us started. Users is that what I called it? Admin users, yes. Uh, so here we'll call admin users, uh, and presumably this would uh, allow me to list all the users that are currently uh, that have an account with us, right? Um, so so this would be some uh, this could be uh, 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 an iterator that iterates over all the users and prints out all the all the user objects, right? So this is kind of a, an ng repeat in here. Um, we'll have a controller that fetches all the users and retrieves them and lists them right here. Okay, uh, so there will be some ng repeat repeat uh, user in model dot users. Obviously, we'll need a controller that provides this data. Um, so, so if I if I if I go to users right now, let's go to admin users. There are no users, right? So I don't see any users. Uh, so let's add a controller that uh, that adds this. Uh, let's go and have a controller right here. Um, this would be controllers, controllers, and this might be 
uh, JavaScript admin dash users dot uh, controller dot client dot js. Uh, and, uh, and again, this controller won't be instantiated unless you are in the admin role. You're whoever whoever's trying to act, instantiate this controller needs to be in the admin role. Right, and so this would be, um, uh, what is it, uh, angular, angular, uh, dot module, wham, and uh, we'll create a controller, and it's called, uh, what do we want to call it? This is admin users, users, controller, 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 implement it right here, all right? And this is var model equal this. Um, okay, so so what we'd like to be able to do here is uh, perhaps use the user service, user service. This is the same exact user service that we're using to be able to register, to log in, to check admin. All those all those uh, affordances are in that same controller. Yes. Uh, well, we can still use it here in the in the admin. We can um, uh, when it first lo uh, loads, right? We could we could. Uh, use the uh, the user service to find all users, right? And I believe we already implemented that, right? We were using it for our first foray into checking to see if the user was logged in, right? We were passing username and password in the in the uh, as a query, right? Um, and I, I believe we were using it for three things: one for checking if they were logged in, right, for credentials. We're checking to see if the username existed, uh, and finally, if uh, if we didn't pass any arguments. Uh, I believe we we return the entire list of users. Okay, if, if I if I don't if I don't if I remember correctly, uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's verify that. Um, this is presumably going to go out to the server. It's going to come back with the, the array of all the users, uh, and uh, we'll get here um, uh, presumably the list of all users, and we're just going to pass it on on to the uh, to the uh, to the template for rendering, right? Okay. Uh, let's see if this actually works. Uh, it doesn't. Probably we didn't finish the implementation on the client side, on the server side. Let's see if this is complaining. It's not complaining. Oh, it's probably the controller we haven't even registered it, right? We, we created the, the file where we never registered with an index. Uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, register the controller with index. And so let's see. Uh, we might want to have a separate admin here. Admin. And this will be script src. Uh, when when this eventually, when when this gets deployed to production, right? All these JavaScripts, right, that have these nice names, right? All these files. Um, obviously, this would be available to anybody who sees this uh, our source code. Um, all these would would be um, uh, concatenated all in one single file, right? Into one single, and the entire file would be obfuscated. I would so that um, uh, no one can. It would be very very hard for someone to try to re reverse engineer uh, our source code. Uh, they wouldn't have these nice file names uh, or any of our uh, documentation in there. So anyway, so uh, let's see. Admin, admin, admin is my my views. Thank you. <laughs> uh, admin controllers. There we go. Uh, and, and also, once we load that, uh, we need to tie that, that control we just created for, with um, our brand new uh, templates. So let's say this will be controller, and the controller is, uh, what is it, admin users controller, is it? And then it's, um, it's referred to in the template as model. Okay, we still we might have an error. Let's see. It says uh, can't find user service. Can't find user service. Uh, I did. Did I misspell it? Maybe it's lowercase. Is it lowercase? Maybe it's lowercase. Let's see. Nope, not that one. Uh, still fine. Okay. The, the service is there, but apparently we don't have find all users. Uh, let me check to see if uh, indeed we implemented it. Uh, on the client side, it would be right here, right? User service, uh, find, I guess we don't have find all users. 
I think we implemented it on the server, but we never implement we never exposed it here on the client. Uh, so let's uh, let's implement that. So it'll be find find all users. Uh, and uh, it would be implemented. Final users would be implemented down here. I think we had something here. Login, create user, find user, find user by username, update user. Okay, we find by credential. Uh, all right, notice notice that it's a, a find user by credential and find user by username. Okay, so we never we never re-implemented find user by username, but we did implement find find user by credential. It's going out to the server, and notice that it's using the API, right? This is the API we want. That's the endpoint we want, right? Um, and uh, but this one was adding username and password at the end, right? Uh, and I believe in the server we were uh, looking, we were we all, we had this this endpoint, and depending on the query, we would behave one way or another. Uh, so let's let's implement this. It's going to uh, look exactly the same as this. Uh, the only difference, obviously, it's going to be called different. Find all users. Uh, the the only difference is that it's not going to have this um, these query at the end, right? So we're not going to have any of this, right? Uh, I want all the users, right? And that's that's the restful way of asking for the entire collection of a particular entity. Right, slash user, and I don't provide any filtering mechanism. Not, not a primary key, and no query, no query parameters either. So it's going to go out and come back with the list of users. Let's see if we refresh. Uh, okay, so it went out to the server, uh, and um, API user. Oh, maybe I have the the graduate version uh, installed, but not the server, not the undergrad. Let's see on the on the server side. On the server side. Right, I have, I have, uh, oh no, I do have undergraduate. Undergraduate, undergraduate app. Did I not implement it? Let's see, it's um, undergrad service, user service. Uh, should be this one, no? Oh, it's this one right here. Uh, and who, where are we going? We're going to find by credentials. Find by credentials. What's it saying? API blah 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 API assignment user not found. Hmm. API assignment user mm, fine. Okay, that's wrong, but uh, we'll fix it in a second. Uh, why is this says that it doesn't find it? Is it, is it even coming in here? Let me see. Let's, let's restart. Okay, so it is being loaded. API assignment user. Assignment user. Uh, okay, probably, let's see, if we click on this and we go here, is it coming in here? Let's see, let's continue. So probably it's hitting, it's hitting this, um, oh, let me log in as an admin. And let me navigate to admin, users. Okay, so it is coming to find user by credential. Okay, so probably, right, we, did, we never, we never, fed, we never um, made this smart enough to behave when we don't have a query, right? when, we don't, when we don't have a username and password. If we don't have a username and password, uh, it should retrieve just all the users. Right? If we don't have any queries, uh, we should interpret it as uh, find all the users. Right? So let's, let's, uh, let's fix this right now. Uh, so, so let's see. We're going to change this to be find all users, which we never implemented. Find all users. Okay. Uh, and the find by credentials. Find by credentials. Let's implement it right right next to this. Find find all users request response. Uh, what we can check to see right is that we can check to see if we have. Uh, it's going to come here, right? Uh, if we have both, right? If we have username, username, and we have password. If we have both, uh, then what we could do is uh, just return whatever find by credentials would have done, and pass the request and response here. Okay, what we're saying is that, well, if you have request and response, just do whatever you were doing before. Yes. Right, we, we overrode that. We're, not using, we're no longer using it. We're using login instead, post login. But it's the same implementation before, right? So I'm leaving it there. Actually, you should have done something similar for the third assignment. In the third assignment, you, you might have done something similar. Right, yes. Uh, 
Exactly. Right. Exactly. So this is something similar. You would have, you would have done something similar to this. Right. If, if you have the username and password, do something. If you only have the username, then I'll do something else. Here, what I'm doing is that if you don't have either, right, if you don't have username and you don't have password, then you must mean that you want all the users unfiltered. Right. So, so that's what that's what we're going to do. Uh, so if it's if I don't have the username and password, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the model, and in, and actually retrieve all the users, right? And find all users. I don't know if we implemented it in the model. Let's see. But if it's there, uh, this should come back with all the users, uh, and we can just uh, res uh, send it back as an array of all users, or send back an, an, an error. Okay, uh, but I won't handle that. Uh, let's see if indeed we implemented this. Let's um, uh, let's go to the model and see if it's there. Uh, undergrad users model. We did not. Okay, we, we did not implement it. Uh, I believe what I said back then is that that's a use case that is only makes sense for admins. Right, so we never implemented it, but we are actually implementing it for user admins. So let's let's implement it. So it's this will be. Um, uh, user model dot find all users uh, implement it and find all users and we'll implement it right here so it'll be function find all users uh, no arguments because I want all of them no filters whatsoever so I'm just going to return uh, user model dot find that's it right that does return the entire collection of users um, this might not be realistic. Uh, since there could be thousands of users, right? Uh, so, so a, a, a little more sophisticated version of this would be pagination, right? Paginated, where uh, a lot, I, I send you chunks of users, right? Maybe 50 users at a time, right? So that, that we would have to treat, uh, we would have to consider what page you're on, how big the page is, right? And then we would, uh, we would, we will, we would jump 50 at a time. But let's, let's treat this uh, for now like this. Uh, so we have that on the server. Um, I believe that's all we need on the client and the server side. Uh, let's try this uh, and log in. Admin, admin. And go to admin, users. There we are. So we have all the users that we have currently uh, created. Uh, I didn't know we had so many. Why do we have so many? Okay. Um, and uh, the 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 uh, last thing to do is maybe you know maybe make this a little prettier perhaps right so let's let's just grab the username and first name and last name right, let's grab those and maybe the roles let's grab those that too so let's let's go back to the template uh, for the for the admin users uh, and perhaps uh, display maybe the username username uh, maybe the user dot first name and last oops and, and last name last name and maybe roles uh, there we are so so notice that uh, this is a little a little more readable notice that some of the, the above uh, we, we had we had created them before there were any any roles whatsoever so that so it makes sense that they have no roles. Uh, ideally, you would want to, um, you know, put them in a table or not not in a table, but uh, make them responsive, right? So that um, uh, you know, as uh, what we did in for the website list, right? For the website list, we made a response. As the screen became smaller, we showed less and less uh, columns, and as it became bigger, we showed more and more columns. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but certainly we would want to we would want to uh, configure that as well. Uh, so for now, let's let's uh, let's focus on on implementing some things that some uh, uh, you know how to protect this. Not everybody should be able to do that. Right? Not everybody should be able to do this. So how do we protect this? Now, even if someone who's not allowed to go come in here somehow you know, finagles uh, their way in here, uh, but they still have the wrong cookie. Right? They have the wrong cookie. Uh, so they're, they're here. They shouldn't be able to, to view this. Uh, so even if they are they uh, are, uh, are able to navigate here, they, the only thing that they should see perhaps uh, is the title, right? But not the actual data. 
right? Or some error message saying, I don't know how you got here, but I'm not going to let you see what you're not supposed to see. Uh, so anyway, so, 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 so to fix it, uh, we'll, we'll, um, we'll have to uh, add uh, some code on the server, right, that verifies that this, this person is authenticated. So to do that, uh, on the server, on the server side, um, actually, let's, let's do it in the next video.